my Gavan and Melunine, and well met indeed. I'm Arakea Galadothan, the head of Dividing Conquer, and welcome to the Anduin campaign continuation. We are besieging Goblin Town, and other than that, doing very little. As I've mentioned, Kamul is meant to be locked, but he is not, due to him gaining an extra, extra trait, which I've still yet to remove the ability from him. So he can move one tile per turn. And that's about all that's going on at the moment. Um, we've about to take Enneth Hour, um, and we've won a series of very, very successful battles around Framsburg. But we are on an end turn. I've been warned that if I take Goblin Town, the Misty Mountain um, Last Chance script will kick in. Now, many people believe that this is linked to Goblin Town itself, but I don't think it is. I'm unaware of any of them being linked to a capital city itself, apart from possibly Baradur. Now, I will double check this so that in the next video I will comp tell you 100%, but I'm fairly certain that this script only kicks in when a faction loses, goes below a certain number of settlements. And unfortunately, because Misty Mountains start off with all these, and me taking Goblin Town is the first time they lose a settlement. It is. It takes them below the level that they need to spawn the script. So it's not the fact that you take Goblin Town that kicks it in. It's the fact that you take a settlement that kicks it in. So you'd likely see that if you took Rakuburg, Daintals, or Gundabad, or Zag Kalar, or any of them, that would also kick the script in. But as I say, I could be wrong, and I will do a complete check in the files after this video, and I will let you know in the next one, just for your own gameplay sake. But we are ending the turn straight off. Um, as I tend to try and leave it on an end turn. It's where I leave my own saves as well, just so that I can have a little look before I end the turn and everything changes. We start and we kill. I'm willing to take the threat that might come from a large Misty Mountain force. High Chieftain Uglak and his pitiful army will face the full force of the Bjorning Bite. We attack! Led by the skin changers of Bjorn. That, I'm almost certain, is Battle for Middle Earth artwork. Which is interesting because the elves in Battle for Middle Earth don't look like that. In the in Battle for Middle Earth 2, when the elves are first introduced. Oh, this is gonna be exactly like last time, isn't it? Oh, let's not let's not wait around this time. We'll just move straight in. Now, they may come out and attack us, but I highly doubt it. So it's going to be, again, I'm terribly sorry. We're just going to watch me run archers in, kill maybe one unit, and then the game will end again. Or the battle will end. Oh, interesting. The textures of all the buildings have gone pure white. But they weren't last time. Fascinating. Last time they were as they should be. So I'm very uncertain as to why that is. I might go all out. We might attack them. I can actually win. Our strength is is great. And the Bol whilst Bolg's champions are very good, their strength is in their charge. And um, they won't get their charge in their town. In the, in, the car in the mountain itself. Now I'm hoping that... Um, I'm currently in talks with Araval from Frome, from Frogs, sorry, as he has made a wonderful reskin of the Bjornings for his mod, and um, I'm hoping that we can use them for our Bjornings as well, because at the minute I think our Bjornings look very bland in comparison to these skin changes. So. Hopefully we'll get some change there. He also has created two new archer units, or reskinned some Dalian archer units, which we hope to reskin and use for these guys. The trackers and the warband, I believe we were talking about, Hummingbird and I. Now, while our troops are moving, I can talk, I can respond to a question which was asked, which was, what happens to the Anduin after the War of the Ring? And indeed, somebody also asked what happens to Anduin during the War of the Ring. Now, I can answer the second one, the latter, um, easily. When Frodo climbs atop Amun Hen, the Hill of... Well, Amun Hen means Hill of Eyes, but they do say Hill of Sight. When he climbs atop Amun Hen, he, in the books this is, of course, he has a vision 
he sees the land to the north and he, he looks northward and he sees the land of the Bjornings set aflame or in or aflame, either a set aflame or a flame. Just that simple line, which denotes that the orcs of the Misty Mountains and I believe remnants of Dol Guldur, because I know that Celeborn doesn't rid Dol Guldur of all its evil until after the or during the War of the Ring. So I'm fairly certain that it's... Um, Misty Mountains and Dol Guldur combined and potentially Gundabad as well. They do attack the Vale of Anduin and the Bjornings are beset upon and they are forced to defend themselves. And in this same time as well, Lorien is also attacked at this time um, and it has to be defended. And so we do know that the Vale of Anduin is attacked during the War of the Ring. We don't know to how much, to what extent, we don't know who attacks fully other than just Goblins of the Mountains or potentially Dol Guldur and, Ang and Gan Gundabad. But we do know that, or we don't even, well, I don't think we even know if they survive. But the likelihood is that if they do survive, and please correct me if you do know the the, just the exact passage. Um, I'm fairly certain if they do survive, they will just be enveloped into the reunited kingdom. Because upon the reunited kingdom's founding, essentially, it then becomes a great power again and takes up almost all the land that it once held. So it stretches all the way from Arnor down through Enidwyth, through Isengard, and then out through Gondor, reclaiming Horondor. But I'm fairly certain that he keeps like a sort of um, overlordship over Harad. So instead of claiming Harad as a, as a region of Gondor, he just claims the loyalty of the tribesmen of Harad. Right, what has happened? Where have they all gone? Let's just attack them, see what we can do. We will just line our army up. And if they don't attack us, then our archers will just get a lot of kills. I think the same is true with the Eastlings as well. I'm fairly certain that Aragorn defeats them and he claims their loyalty, but he doesn't essentially he doesn't essentially move in and make um Run or Harad regions of the newly founded kingdom. They just become vass vassals essentially. Can you not shoot them? That's a joke. But very little is known of the Fourth Age. Very little at all. Unfortunately. Tolkien expressed little interest of the world of men. Indeed suggesting that then obviously the Fourth Age just then goes into our own timeline eventually and becomes our own history with the magical folk of the world disappearing into places unknown dwarves elves the dwarves it's very uncertain what happens to them the overarching belief is that the dwarves essentially just die off or they they then they essentially dig so far down that they become a myth they never leave the mountains they're never heard of again so they just they just recede into myth unfortunately Obviously, they forge very close ties with Dale, so they do at least reside and are known about in Dale for a f much longer time. But an expedition is sent to Khazad Dun where it does reclaim the mountain, and that becomes an, the um, a new dwarven realm. But um, it is just believed that the dwarves just essentially disappear. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Only half the enemy force remains. Somebody asked, "How do do the AI use generals' powers, and how do we know that they do?" And uh, the answer to that question was just answered then when you heard the orcs scream something like, "Oh, crash to!" Our men have slain the enemy general. A worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. Uh, fortunately, the skin changes are so powerful now. Bog's champions didn't stand a chance, and their high chieftain has been slain. Keep up the attack. Skin changers alone probably could have won this. But as we will see once we finally fight one of these factions in open warfare, we are massively outclassed on the field of battle. Yes, we have very powerful generals, especially as this is our heir and faction leader, so they get an even larger retinue than the normal general. But our standard units are awful. 
absolutely awful. Well, not awful. I mean, if you use them correctly, they're good. But our standard units are nowhere near as good as the skin changers or even the Bjornings. The Bjornings are quite good, but they're quite rare as well. Our men are in command of the city. We've lost 13 percent. So far, apparently we've killed 100 percent, even though there were more fighters. Vanquished. 62 men Let lost. all who remember this day remember it as the day of an excellent start goblin town falls now this probably will provoke the orc res um, last chance script and they most certainly will have their army spawned it spawns somewhere in the glory, south i believe honor, victory. they will also probably A come to try and reclaim conquest. goblin town almost immediately i'm gonna stick you the rangers flourish already with 14 turns in. Yes, my lord. With honor. Get clear why I'm back there. Ah, oh, defenders, get defenders. Look at this. Where have these orcs all come from? <laughs> Your orders, my lord. Yes. Yes, oh, my and the, lord. The, they moved away from Dwinberg. With honor, we can go no further, my lord. Enethar has but one turn lord. left. Yes, my lord. As you command. Oh yes, of course. Orders, my lord. Taking ages to build the siege. We equipment. shall engage. Yes. Yep, I'll take that. And as that's the only unit you can recruit, I'll take them. Orders. So the warriors can head to there to become the. By your command. The unit that March we use there. To exhaustion, continuing later. What to do with Goblin Town? Who are they? Oh, three lane. units of Snagger. To battle. Yeah, jog on. And yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. We want towers, but we can't really do anything with towers. They, if they, the Misty Mountains will all their all their armies will come from the eastern side of the mountains, because they've got to get through the Valley of Imladris to get to us to here, or they're coming from this, which is just a village. I don't really want to take that village though, because that could provoke Angmar into attacking us. Got to be smart. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. As you command, we have triumphed. As you right. Your orders, you three remain lord. as the defenders. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. This tower will keep vigil. Tower each of them. Your orders, my lord. Now Grimby on head north and aid in yes. the defence. Uh, yes, my lord. Bjorn head to Mytelberg. With honor. Goblin Town will be held. Everything has been destroyed. Everyone there has been killed. Keep it on a low... Well, no need to keep it on a low tax rate, actually. We don't need it to grow because we can't upgrade it. So growth isn't hugely paramount here. Don't get very much money, though, so still keep to cheap things for now. Your orders, my lord. All of our army focused in the south still. Hoping in vain that Dol Guldur don't give that army to someone other than Kamul and just sweep through Roscobel. They've not really presented a threat, Dol Guldur, this time, have they? Normally, I've played as the Anduin twice before, I believe, and on both occasions I lost Roscobel immediately, and Dol Guldur was then attacking much further up. Although, of course, um, in the past two times that I have played as Anduin, the city of Dwinberg did not exist because it was only added in in 0 0.5, 0 0.5 or 5.1, whenever I did the big change. An honourable, glorious. Our forces are well hidden. The trap is set. Oh, we prosper. The veils are beautiful. The people prosper. Their legendary tenacity has done them proud. Not only are the veils secure, they stand strong and united. Their foes now know the strength and purpose of their people. The veils have gone to war with a thirst, and blood sakes their weapons as they carve a kingdom beyond their own borders at last and realize their true potential through both trade and war. Oh, we got some Aethed footmen. Oh, good lord. Perfect timing. Um, they don't seem to have bothered with here. Oh, but that's getting a defense. So, Grimbion, yes, remain. Defend Mythelberg. Your orders, my lord. I'm gonna stick you 
Have a taste of my blade. Um, and Bjorn, if you could potentially try yes. and get to Selleberg in time, that'd be wonderful. Here. Yes, my lord. More units there. Look, what is this? What madness is this? Your orders, my lord. And this is an almost solely elven town. Your will, my lord. Yes, my lord. Might as well just sit in there for now. Your orders, Well, you can build us some towers, I suppose, can't you? This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Towers don't actually there do that no much in, um... in hiding like this, my lord. Why can't I build yes, a tower my there? Lord. Your orders, my oh, because there's a resource there, isn't there? This Honey. tower will keep vigil over the lands. What does this area cover? The next uh, if you head yes. down there and get that one. Yes, my lord. And you can join with him and head back Your into orders, the centre because we need Yes, my lord. We need you back. Yes, my lord. Where am I sending you? Oh, to Dol Guldur. No worries. We shall hear you out, but do not expect much. I do not think you goodbye. They only want war. They want nothing but war with us. And they have just skirted Your around orders, the city that is well defended, and they've a gone straight for Dunberg. To launch a cowardly ambush if need be. I can't get units back fast orders. enough. So those three units are all we're going to have there. Damn, 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 and blast, and damn. Well, at the moment, I'm not seeing that Misty Mountain assistance force, so I think it the introduction of Dol Bryn, them getting that at turn one, means that now losing Goblin Town as their first town doesn't count as them going below the number required. Yes, my lord. Yes. I was going to build a tower, but I realise I am out of money. <coughs> Sorry, do excuse me. Oh, the veil probably doesn't fall under the we reunited must make kingdom. A stand. We are besieged. Because Ah oh, yes, Grim yes, Bjorn. We have triumphed. Because Rohan doesn't come under the reunited kingdom. That remains its own kingdom. Hiding from the enemy. And um to get the Veil of Anduin they'd have to get through Rohan, so I don't think they would. Bear went. Yes, please. Ah, oh, the elves are finally will, gone. That's good. Your orders, my lord. Now you've got skin changes. Yes, but my lord. Fast red just has. Ah, oh, longbowmen are actually quite useful. With right, you honor, two join together and head out to yes. support Dwinberg. We can go no further, my lord. To battle. The hobbits we have here are not going to stop Adunafell if he chooses to take Fenberg. Your orders, my lord. But if we can get Bjorn down With there, honor, Bjorn wrecks their bodyguard. You. What's the free upkeep here? Two units. I'd happily have two units of defenders as the free upkeep there. So we'll shift those two units. Oh, we don't know where he's going to go yet, though, do we? So if Grimbjorn, yes, if you head across the river to Selleberg, my lord, Bear went. You can. I don't really need defence there. It can train its own troops, and it's got Gleerwine. Goblin Town's threat is there's oh, the army that everyone you. talks of. Ha! I'm never going to be able to hold that back, and they will I certainly attack. Um, don't build anything. Very high tax rate. So Bear went. Remain there. Where's the? Muster ground, get a muster ground. I don't want that, just a muster. There's no point in losing them for no reason. Pull As them back wish. immediately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let you go, take it back. Oh, where's a diplomat? Where's a diplomat? Where's a diplomat? Um, what can we do to stop Misty Mountains getting it? We can gift it to. Yes. Sorry, everyone. I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat to move him. I must apologise. But only a tiny amount this time. I'm not it's not like I'm moving him across the whole map. Let's let's assume that a diplomat from Selleberg has ridden out to meet Melkin Yes, my what is it you wish to discuss? Right, Thrandall's realm, I want an alliance with you. And I will offer you Goblin Town in exchange for it. 
What do you think? Very generous. How could we refuse such an honour and a pleasure? Farewell. Now, let's see what they do with Goblin Town. They'll probably lose it immediately, but it will... It might stir them into doing something a little bit more. They might try and send some troops over there. Even if they have only held it for a turn before it's taken orders, by the orc. My lord. With honour concealing the troops by your order. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. And I'd like one in the farthest corner that we own yes. as well. We shall continue tomorrow. Um, you're going to want land clearance so that you can actually train a unit and get free upkeep of that unit. Yes, my lord. All right, let's see what Adunafel does. I'm expecting he'll attack Fenberg because he has the power to take that on his own. But he could divert north and besiege Selberg, but we'd be able to get Grimbjorn to that in time. The skin changers will defeat. Oh dear. Dwinberg's been attacked. Um, we don't have the greatest army, but it does think it's one to one. Attack! We're going to have to use the towers. Keep men near the walls so that we use the towers. We don't have any choice. And this battle will probably mark the end of the video. Well, we'll do the little bits of the next turn, but we won't attack anyone else. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yep, there's our hobbit bodyguard. Does he have a skin changer model, though? Oh, no, he doesn't. Good. He actually does have a hobbit model. I'm pleased at that. I mean, you have absolutely no idea which one he is. Oh, that one probably with a stone. Because all the others have uh, bows. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't get... Oh, you know why we don't get defenders here? Because I foolishly haven't added it to the script. Because this is the new region. That's my own fault. Right, what's coming through the doors? Uruks. Uruk bodyguard. And Wargs. Does anyone get stakes? No, we do not get stakes. But they will use the ladders. But we don't want to waste archers on the ladders. Archers will go there. And we'll try and trap them in the gates. Not bothered about you being on the wall. Get off the wall. Alright, as soon as they come through the gate, we'll swarm them. Speed it up a bit. And then the hobbits will be able to fire on them. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Curses. The enemy are battering down our oh, gates. Oh, we killed 7% already. Only a matter of time. Blast their eyes. The enemy's ram is the enemy have the walls. Look to our defense or all will be lost. But now the archers can fire straight into them. The Euro bodyguard will slaughter the, the Veilsmen. <laughs> Soon as the that they have already broken and fled. They're already moving around to hunt down the bodyguard. <laughs> no! We've lost half of our men! Why does Dwimberg not get a garrison? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their Go men. Go on, hobbits. Show them. The Hobbit steel. <laughs> Do they just attack with stones when they're out? Oh no, they've got little daggers. They've got little daggers. We will not win. The Hobbits are poor. They may be a general, but that doesn't mean that they're strong. And Veilsmen are our most basic unit. They're, they're almost snagger level in their skill strength. They're Bjornings, though, so the one thing you can count, count on with the Anduin faction is you have very high stamina. So even our most basic units are still only just warmed up after having fought for such a while. Quite some time. The only unit that doesn't have the stamina, of course, are the Hobbits, who happen to be our general in this region. Our enemy has command of the castle! Our foolish general has thrown. This defeat is a bitter drop to swallow. 
We only killed 170 ticks. Oh dear, and with that crushing and sad defeat of Dwimberg, we will end there. I'm fairly certain that Dwin here, Duelin, and Derufin all die at the Mumakil charge. They're all, cr they're all crushed by Mumakil. Some named characters have to go, though, don't they? Oh, Moranon besieged. Aha! Dunafell didn't do anything. Your orders, my lord. The Wood Elves flourish just because I've given them Goblin Town. Right, I will end there. So we'll just make sure none of these do anything important. Framsburg got a town. Got a meeting hall. Sorry, we don't really make any money at the moment. Now we've lost to Wimberg, so we won't build anything there. Somewhere else got one of them as well, didn't it? But it matters not. Because they're all sort of building something. And the faction announcements will just be the death of Breeran. So, that will end that video there. So as ever, thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. Please feel free to post any comments you wish in the section of comments. Or indeed on Total War Center or on ModDB. Where they will be answered in time. But for now, and until we speak again... Navar Naden Perimad Melunin and farewell.